Hi Cakers, it is Zoe from Sugar Street Studios back this week with another recipe from our Cakes Around the World series. We're in Brazil today with the Bola de Fuba. Apologies if I have pronounced that wrong, but what is it? Well, it's essentially a corn cake and it's a traditional breakfast cake. It's a pretty simple cake at its core, but it is a delicious crumbly melt in the mouth cake fragrant with the scent of corn and totally ideal for munching during breakfast. Let's start with the star ingredient, which is obviously the corn itself. You want the finest ground polenta or cornmeal that you can find. In the bowl, I have 190 grams. I also have 190 grams of sifted plain flour, which I've put in three and three quarter teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Then you want 340 grams of golden caster sugar if you have it. I didn't have it, so I combined white and golden. Three organic eggs, scenting the cake with orange, so orange zest, and we'll use the juice to glaze afterwards. And then for your wet ingredient, you want 180 ml each of warm water, a clear light oil, such as a groundnut oil or a sunflower oil, and then double cream. And then your bunt tin. Look at that. So the bolo is the ring. So this is traditionally baked in a ring shaped cake. I think it's fab in a bundt cake because it's such a plain cake. It's just quite nice to get a little bit of decoration within that cake. So I am using a, a bundt tin for that. Making this cake is a pretty simple process, but before you start, you want to really grease your bundt tin well, especially if you're using a highly decorative bundt tin like I am, otherwise the cake will stick. It will stick. So be really generous with softened butter or oil and then give your pan a big dusting of flour afterwards. So let's start by putting together all the wet ingredients. So in a bowl, I am going to combine my cream, my oil and my water, and then I'm going to crack my eggs into that and whisk the whole thing together. Now, I do know that you can also make a corn cake by putting literally everything in a blender and whizzing it up and sticking it in the tin and ready to go. Um, I just like to always break the process down a little bit. So this is how I'm doing it. So I'm combining everything together and you want to give it a good whisk until it is thoroughly combined. Place that to one side and then in a mixer you want to take your flour, salt and baking powder, pop that into the mixer, add your star finely ground corn and your sugar into the bowl and then at this point I'm going to add in the zest, the very finely grated zest of those two oranges. You can swap this, it doesn't have to be orange, you can use lime, you can use lemon, you can even use coconut but I like orange and corn and it's a good breakfast flavour for me so that's what I went with and you just want to, before you add the wet ingredients, just combine this together. Once you have that lovely rubbly sandy texture now slowly pour in your eggy, creamy mixture into the bowl. Pour it in slowly and then give it a good whisk at the end to make sure that everything is well and truly combined. You'll end up with quite a wet batter. That's completely normal. Pour that into your very well prepared bunt tin. I've preheated the oven to 160 degrees Celsius. That's with a fan. If you just have a regular electric oven, 180 is fine. And then you want to bake that cake until it is done. You want to give it a test, but around 50 to 55 minutes. When the cake comes out of the oven, allow it to cool for a good 10 minutes or so in the pan because you do not want the cake to break up on you. Now, the way that I try and take it out the bunt tin is I turn it upside down on the rack and then I bang it quite hardly onto the surface. And if you have greased your cake well, this is the moment of truth. It should just pop out. And I have a confession. I have made bunt cakes before where I have not greased the tin properly and that did not happen. <laughs> so take my advice. It's always worth prepping well. Once your cake is out and it's quite cool. In the pan here, I've just got the juice from the oranges 
which I've heated with some sugar. I'm going to very gently stab my cake or prick it with a with a stick and I'm going to just pour that slightly sweetened orange juice slash glaze over the top of the cake. I've kept my orange bits in because I just like the rustic look of it. Obviously you can sieve that out. And you can obviously add more sugar and boil to a higher consistency if you want more of a glaze. I actually quite like the natural juice so I didn't cook mine for too long. And then that is it really. At this point you want to allow the cake to sit and cool and absorb all of those flavours. And as I said at the beginning, it's a plain beauty this cake. There is nothing fancy about it but it is traditionally e eaten at breakfast it will fill you up it is not overly sweet and it has this lovely scent of corn and it's just absolutely delicious so whether you are making it for a, a festival day or whether you just fancy a little bit of cake for breakfast and frankly why wouldn't you I'd highly recommend giving this cake a go there are all sorts of variations there's a variation to make this already moist cake quite creamy or bem cremosa which adds coconut and wait for it even grated parmesan for extra richness you can also see it paired with guava paste or fennel or aniseed or with a citrus syrup like we've done here i hope you enjoyed that recipe there are many others in the series please subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up and share it if you think anybody would like this recipe and would benefit from seeing it. Great to see you all and if you have a go at making it let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested to see how your corn cake turns out. See you later guys. Bye bye.